Hey everyone, so if you're familiar with Kubernetes, but a bit nervous about setting up Light Dash in production, I'm gonna show you how easy it can be using our Helm charts. So there's a few prerequisites before you follow this tutorial and you can find them at docs.lightdash.com. Um, there's a ton of information here and we're always updating it. So go and check those out for the most recent version of how to set up a production version of Light Dash. So I've got a Kubernetes cluster already available. And on the right here, it's showing all my containers that are running. And inside that, I've got a Postgres database just for testing. Your Postgres database can live anywhere, but you need to have one accessible to Light Dash before you get started. Um, so I've got that. And so I'm gonna to jump to the left and I'll show you about how to pull our Helm charts and how to install Light Dash for the first time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a Helm repo. And our charts, our repository is at lightdash.github.io slash Helm charts. So once you do this, you'll always be able to pull the latest version of our Helm charts, which we're working on all the time to make sure you have the most recent, robust, secure version of Light Dash. So now I've done that, I need to configure some values. So we, there's a bunch of configuration for Light Dash and the Helm charts always have the best practice, most sane defaults that we can come up with for Light Dash. You can always override those. And there's a few, this is the bare minimum configuration on the left that you should take a look at. So the first is this uh, PG host, which tells Light Dash where your Postgres database is. I've got this quite ugly uh, domain name. You might have an IP address or something else to stick there. And then there's a couple of secrets. Um, so this first one is used to control all of the encryption in Light Dash. So everything that goes to the database that should be secret, stay secret. You should never reveal this. Uh, that's why mine's called not very secret. <laughs> and uh, you should also set your password to access Postgres too. Um, this just exposes uh, Light Dash locally, so I can access it from localhost. Um, you probably want to change that in production. Um, so that's it, just those variables. And then all I need to do is run Helm install Light Dash. That's the name of my application I want to install. And then the name of the Helm chart. It's a lot of Light Dash. And then you just specify the values file. So this is going to go ahead and start installing Light Dash in a new container. And you can see it's just setting up. Here, and when we've got it ready, one of one, we'll go and uh, take a look at it. We actually get this really helpful command, um, which I can never remember, to grab the port <laughs> for this running locally. There you go. Here we go. So that's it. I can create my first administrator account and start inviting people to use uh, Light Dash. So yeah, if you have any questions, or you want to go deeper into the configuration, you can find all of this in the doc. So things like setting up single sign-on with Google, how to set up email, um, and how to make sure that um, it's secure and ready for production. So yeah, or drop us a message in GitHub discussions or in Slack if you have any questions. Thanks.